Good morning, you horrible lot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't know why I said that. I'm out early for a walk today and it's lovely and cold. I was going to about to say blooming cold, but it's lovely. It's really lovely. I'm wearing Toby's heated gilet underneath my hilarious... Uh, can you see it glows when the light gets on it? It glows. Yeah, so I, I look like a, like a barrel. My arm aches already. I'm not very match fit at this vlogging lark. Right. Today, we're going out. I've got, I'm going to see Franca drop off a birthday present. It's her birthday today. Um, I would have been seeing her tonight, but it's Squilf's Christmas, school Christmas carol concert, so can't do that. I'll see her another day. A couple of you have been asking how she is. She's, she's fine. She had COVID. It's taken a while to get over it, but she's doing all right. She's pretty busy. And I used to see her all the time when we were in lockdown because we were bubbled. But life just gets busy, doesn't it? So we've been unable to spend as much time together but we facetimed a couple of weeks ago for about an hour which was lovely oh my hands cold i've got these gorgeous mitts on but my fingers are hanging out um karen gave me these hello karen actually wearing a pair of socks that karen gave me as well all hand knitted by herself and uh, the socks i'm wearing today are um they're a pattern, I think, by Twin Set and Pearl. Joe and Rachel, go and see them. They have a podcast that I didn't know about that I found last week. Um, so I'm looking forward to catching up with their back catalogue. And they're knitted, these socks, in a colourway that my friend Julie approached my friend Kelly from Lay Family Yarn and said, I want to get Gaynor a present from your shop and Kelly said I'll dye her a colourway so she dyed up a colourway called Ballard's Bella and it's absolutely gorgeous oh, I really want to show you my sock I'm going to show you my sock just hold on I can only show you one because I'm standing on my other leg look oh look what my welly's done to it oh is that not just beautiful? Hang on, it's not showing up quite true to colour. No, that's not either. Oh, take it from me. Absolutely lovely. I've got to try and put me welly on now with one hand because I'm holding my phone in the other. I've got the dog's lead. Dog's waiting patiently and not pulling me over, so that's good. I've got four skeins of that there, Ballard's Bella, to make myself a jumper. Oh, my nose is running now. How disgraceful. Unladylike. I'm all sleepy in my car. I went um, and met my friend. I stopped off at a shop and bought some baubles. And then I met my friend B for lunch. It was so, so lovely. So lovely to see her and um, we shared a sticky toffee pudding if you can hear oh. you've still got lessons you need to go to <laughs> as I was saying if you could hear all of that noise that was Wilf's classmates going from one lesson to their last lesson of the day but I'm here early because um, there was no point in me going home because then I would have to leave straight away to come to the school. So I've come to the school. I was sitting Ooh, in the car park. Um, really sleepy from having had a lovely sticky toffee pudding. I'm sleepy and I'm thirsty. Um, <laughs> and Wilf, as you saw, just tried to tried to uh, bunk off his last lesson he's gone in now oh uh, yeah I couldn't get to sleep last night that's the trouble when you've got an un uncomfortable torso it's not easy getting to sleep 
but so far today I've been absolutely fine so that's good news it's mostly the evenings I have a bother um oh I've got a phone call FaceTime from Turnip hang on oh well I'm awake now because that was my friend Turnip FaceTime and she's just got a new puppy now Turnip is the mum of Izzy who is one of my goddaughters who I took to Bath last Friday her and her boyfriend but a lovely time I'll pop some photos in here now of the um, puppy from the FaceTime video just now and from Bath last Friday and now I'm going to just run over to the primary school and pick up my friend's daughter because she has got flu um, so I'm going to have a car full of children and most of them won't be mine <laughs> Right, I'm back. I can't remember where I got to. I think I just said that I was going to run over to the primary school to pick up my friend's daughter because she's got flu. So I've dropped her off and brought her son back here. So the three little boys are in the drawing room watching the telly. I've got pizzas in the oven. Bill's upstairs. Ted's on his way back home. And... And then we're going to be going back out to drop the boys off for the um, Christmas Carol concert. So Ted, my middle one, is away at school from Monday morning till Friday afternoon because it's too far away for him to come home every day, sadly. And it's a sort of a specialist school, it does um, agriculture. So that's his dream. So he's off there, hence why I said that um, he processed the turkey, farmer's life, because uh, that's what the boys do. They, they process the turkeys that they raise for Christmas that the families buy. Got a cup of tea. It's a rubbish cup of tea. But I wanted to show you, I dropped into oh, one of my favourite shops before I met my friend today. It's Cabbages and Roses. And it's in Bruton, which is where I went to school for my A-levels. I've cut out the crinkling sound. I've got a glass bauble. Looks a bit naff in the screen, but it's a hand etched glass bauble. So I've got that one. Another glass one. This is an etched. And what do they call this when it's silver on the inside? I've got a massive one of these. It's like this big, like a witch's ball from the same place. So they're going to go together on a tray. And that beautiful, another glass one. Oh, so lovely. Mwah. Gorgeous. And some long, thin taper candles. I love those, you only get the pound each. Burn for ages, actually, considering how skinny they are. Love those. And that was it. They um, they always shove a handful of these little matches in your bag, and they light so easily that they don't they burn down pretty quickly. I cut my thumb the other day and had a plaster, and I kept setting fire to my plaster. But look, Granny will appreciate those. You might get the delights of Granny trying to light a candle this Christmas. Some of you know what I'm on about. I'm thinking of decorating the house tomorrow and Sunday morning. And then my co cousin's cancelled the gathering for tomorrow. His wife's not feeling very well and people are dropping like flies. And... Um, it's probably just as well because it's the evenings when my tummy is uncomfortable. It's half past nine and I'm back from the carol concert. I have dogs. I have my dog walking clothes. And I'm about to get in the shower. So I bid you adieu. It's quarter to ten. I'm going to have a shower. I'm going to make a cup of tea. 
and I'm going to see if I can catch up with Strictly. Toby's out tonight, he's got his work's Christmas due, so I suspect I'll end up in the spare room tonight if he's snoring. Marco. Oh, look, there's me in the background in the mirror. Oh, everybody. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. She's, look at her here. She's been fed and she's had, I thought I heard someone come in. She's been fed and she's been walked. I don't know. Right. I don't know. What, snuffling, truffling dog. I don't know what I'm talking about now. I need to go to bed and I need a hot water bottle. What's that noise? What's that noise? Hey. What's that noise? Oh, uh, okay. Oh, no. They don't even have insoles in. Can't take them back. Dad got them off Facebook. What's that dog doing? It's brilliant vlog footage, isn't it? Try again tomorrow.